Greetings fellow scientists. Today we're going to experiment with AI and see how we can push it a little to the edge. My name is Dr. Jekyll. The kids call me Dr. J. They should call you Broken Pencil because you're pointless. Ah, uh, Hyde. I haven't seen you lately. It hasn't been the same without you. It's been better. Bah, don't mind him. If he really spoke his mind, he'd be speechless. Welcome to the Mindstorm channel. It's a great source of creative ideas for entrepreneurs, internet marketers, and all you curious minds out there. Give it a like. It's like eating in a fine restaurant. Dude, you're so annoying, you make your Happy Meal cry. Your face makes onions cry. Oh yeah, well, you're so ugly that when you went swimming, the tide wouldn't bring you back to shore. That must have been difficult for you, exhausting your vocabulary in one sentence. Okay, enough of this tomfoolery. Today, let's talk about experimenting with AI. I want to show you three sites that you can use for free and play with all of the AI tools that others are paying for. And then, I want to show you a new AI animation tool that Mark Sylvester used. He's the guy that created me, and I'll show you how he got me to talk. If you've seen a few other videos on the Mindstorm channel, this new tool is not DID.com. It's a new one. Okay. The first site on our list is a site that not a lot of others know about. You know how when you're trying to log into ChatGPT and it won't let you? It's always busy and it's sometimes more often now than ever it'll lock you out until capacity goes down a little. But take a look. If you visit platform.openai.com, you'll be able to experiment and play with ChatGPT. To get started, visit the site and click on the API link, then sign up to create an account. It's free, you'll need to provide your cell number though. Once you're in, select the playground from the top menu. You can use it just like regular chat GPT, but this one is always available. As of the creation of this video, that is, it'll also explain code. It's a great place to experiment and see what AI will bring to the future. Yeah, like unemployment. Oh, what do you know about unemployment? All you do is sleep all day and play video games all night. Dude, if laughter is the best medicine, your face must be curing the world. Oh, haha, ha. it must be nice having three hours of stuff to do a week. Well, it must be nice being boring and lame. 24-7. Bah. Next, let's experiment with a few graphic images on a site called Playground AI. This site, also free, lets you experiment with image generation. To get started, just head over to playgroundai.com. You'll be directed to the home page where you'll see this gallery. Click on this little icon and you'll be able to log in with a Google account. The user interface isn't all that complex, but there are lots of little buttons and sliders and lots of fun stuff to experiment with. Just like the other imaging generators, all you need to start with is a prompt. This one is pretty slick though. It has a little slider that'll give you more versions of your image. You can goof around with different filters to get different results. A free account comes with 1000 picture generations per day and free commercial license. Okay, this next one is mine. I get to tell them about something too, you know? Some of us like to experiment, even at night. This one is my favorite. It's free, free, free. It's called Dream Studio AI. It's a tool for creating high quality images from text using the stable diffusion image generation model. It includes a user-friendly interface and allows users to experiment with credits with more available for purchase in the My Account section. It also includes an API key for generating images in external applications. All you need to provide for Dream Studio is your wild imagination. Sometimes I need what only you can provide, your absence. <laughs> okay, now I want to show you how Mark experimented with us. This video was a wild ride and it took almost 11 hours to edit with both of our voices and trying to create just the right character in Mid Journey. Mid Journey is probably just hands down the best AI imaging tool right now on the market. The idea was to create a nutty professor type of thing where he turns into another character. So he grabbed a screenshot of Jerry Lewis and dropped him into Mid Journey. But the character didn't quite come out like he imagined. After dozens and dozens and dozens of different prompts and ideas, he finally asked his twin sons for some pics. 
they were nice enough to let him digitize them into mid-journey. And that's when things began to fall into place. And then finally he had me. You're so ugly that instead of seeing a doctor when you get sick, you go to the local vet. Um, okay. Mm, um, that one kind of hurt my feelings. Hmm. Oh, sorry, bro. It, it's cool, dude. It's cool. And my other son was a trooper because he let me make him the villain. But it all turned out awesome. Probably blew through my monthly allotment of credits on mid-journey, though, on this one. And what the handsome devil he is. Then Mark went to a site that has been blowing him away with awesome digitized voices. The site is called 11labs.io. It lets you record voices and import them into the AI machine. It then digitizes the voices. Oh, haha, ha. it must be nice having three hours of stuff to do a week. You would not believe the number of voice files he had to create. And then my fellow scientists, he went to a site called movio.la. Black Friday is coming soon. 50% off all products. Shop now. It's a site that's mainly meant for creating real digital avatars of people. But he decided to try using mid-journey images and it worked. Now to be fair to everybody, he did use Photoshop to get the green screen behind the character after creating it in mid-journey. But there are tools out there that'll do it without Photoshop. He'll show you one day. Movio.la lets you import your image. Then, using these little tools up here, you'll be able to modify the image on the canvas. Now, notice that the image doesn't look super sharp. Use this super resolution button. Then finally, you'll drop the audio file you exported from 11 labs into this area. Oh, haha, it must be nice having three hours of stuff to do a week. His mouth won't move until you hit this submit button. And it gets a little frustrating because it costs you a credit for each second of video. If you're not happy with the first result, you'll have to do it again. And it'll cost your monthly credits. Oh, haha, it must be nice having three hours of stuff to do a week. But in the end, using the voices from 11labs.io and this new avatar tool from movio.la, you can really get creative. But it ain't cheap. Dude, you're so cheap. Instead of bringing your wife flowers, you give her seeds. Well, you're such a slob. I have to wipe my feet just to go outside. You're the reason! We have warning labels on everything! Ha, that was a good one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel and we'll keep doing these videos. Your gene pool could use a little chlorine.